Hi. Hi. Happy birthday. Thanks. Can I come in? Of course. I got you a little something. Andrew, I told you to bang her, not fall in love with her. Are you falling in love with her? Do you know that she volunteers in Chinatown? Every week she goes to Chinatown to make sure that this family is okay. She's unbelievable. But what, what about Kay? Kay is unbelievable. And, and she thinks you're in love with her. And her parents, and your parents, and New York City. They all think you're gonna propose to her any minute now. Does God know about Grace? I'm gonna tell my mom first. Okay. Mom. Oh, Andrew. What if she wants you for her green card? Could she be a prostitute? Is she unusually willing to perform bizarre sexual favors. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I saw a story about this on CNN. You're the perfect victim. So you always believe the best in people. Andrew, you've got to be careful. Mother, please. You're going to marry Kay. I've never felt anything like this for anyone. Do you understand that? I understand more than you know. But Andrew, it's not just about you. It's about Kay. It's about our family and everything that our family has worked for generations to achieve. You know, people envy us because we have all the money in the world. But with that comes an incredible price. Sorry, dear. I'm sure she's wonderful.
uncomfortable. I gotta take this other right out. Hello, Jim. No, no problem. No. What do you need? My sister's on the phone. Your sister? What do you mean, your sister? My sister is on the phone. Oh, wait, a, wait a minute, wait a sec. Grace is your sister. Yeah, yeah, we met, we met at my parents. Remember, we, we were, you were helping us move the new refrigerator? The door was falling off the old one? My mom was like, ah, she thought you were the best dressed delivery guy she's ever seen. <laughs> Is he your brother? So Mr. and Mrs. Wong are your parents? Yeah. I'm just gonna be in this room over here. Uh, <clears throat> so, your mother works in a sweatshop. I never meant for it to get this far. At first it was about getting into the committee and then you showed up. And I couldn't believe that someone like you would want to be with someone like me. And I had never felt so special in my entire life and I didn't want to give it up. These are for you. Did I say something bad? where I went today, <laughs> below 57th Street. I went all the way to Chinatown.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gatsby Ball. Dinner is served. Uh, this is what women like. Dress up. But you gotta admit, they sure know how to throw a party. Did you bring the ring? Smoking. You're doing the right thing, buddy. Hey, Jakey! You have really outdone yourself. Again. Well, I took some risks, but it all seems to be working. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's plan a party. We shouldn't let that talent go to waste, should we? You privately? I'll be right out. Let me explain something to you. What's there to explain? Grace didn't intend to lie. You all just wanted to believe that she was someone important, so she just went along with it. She tried to tell you that she wasn't the Tang of the Shanghai Tangs, but you refused to hear it. All of you. But there were plenty of opportunities for her to come clean. Hmm, right. And you've been completely honest with everyone about everything. I guess the truth is kind of complicated for some people. What was that all about? Uh, that was about Grace resigning from the committee. That's too bad. I was hoping she would donate one of those gorgeous dresses. Why did she resign? I guess this whole thing just wasn't for her. <laughs> so, what happened with that one? You used information that you got from me to manipulate the Carrie Mills acquisition. You knew that we were going after her, so you advised her to pull all of her work from the factories. And you wouldn't have? No, I wouldn't have betrayed my own son. I wouldn't have done that. Bernie, forgive me. Certainly. Family, of course. Shut the door. Yes. I warned Carrie that if she thought she might have any work done in sweatshops, that she'd better pull them. I thought you'd be all for that. I've been going after Carrie Mills for years. How could you do that to me? In business, never play martyr. Always play to win. You're playing martyr, and I play to win. Congratulations, Dad. I hope you're very happy with your win.